Hey there guys, welcome back. So today I'm going to show you some of the best VPNs that you can use for ESO. So with ESO, unfortunately, a lot of times it can be difficult connecting to servers with good ping. So if you're in the situation where maybe your ISP isn't exactly giving you the best package with the best ping, connecting to a VPN server can oftentimes stabilize your connection while playing Elder Scrolls Online. Now, of course, a VPN, when you connect to it, it'll slow down your connection and increase your ping naturally. But again, if you're suffering from high ping, connecting to a VPN server that's closer to your game server that you're trying to connect to will actually give you overall more stable connection. So let's just say that your base ping is 100 milliseconds. And that's without a VPN, but it's so unstable that when it spikes, it actually messes up your entire game. Now with a VPN, your ping may increase by a little bit. So instead of, for example, 100, it could be 120, but it'll be much more stable in the long term without any unpredictable lag spikes that will just ruin your experience overall. So that's the cool thing about using a good, reliable VPN with Elder Scrolls. Now, I like to use ExpressVPN specifically. And by the way, if you end up getting any of the VPNs I'm mentioning today, whether it's Express, Nord, or Surfshark, I'll be sure to leave links to the full reviews if you want to learn more about them, as well as the discounts if you end up getting any of them and want to save a little bit more money. Now, as far as the exact server locations, I haven't been able to find much information on that but I think this should be helpful for a lot of you. So the North American mega servers are hosted in Texas and the European mega servers are located in the European data center in Germany and the Japanese PC and Mac game client published by DMM is hosted on the North American mega server. So for the most part, you've got America, uh, Germany and Japan. These are the three main data centers. And so what you wanna do is you wanna connect to the one that's closest to you and on the VPN itself, let's say you want to connect to the American one, then you want to connect to the American server, specifically Texas in this case. So I would just go to Express. If I want to connect to that again, I'll go to locations, United States and Dallas, Texas. And that is essentially it. If you want to double check, you can go to any IP finder, click on what is my IP address dot com. Um, there's a dash between the IP and address, by the way. I like this specific website to show me. And as you can tell, it's Dallas, Texas. This is my location, and this is where you'll be connecting when you sign in to ESO. And it's as simple as that. Hopefully, that fixes your ping issues if you're having any ping issues still, or if you're too far away from the servers and you want to get better ping and just have a smoother overall experience, a VPN can actually help quite a bit with that. But make sure that you're using the fastest protocol that would be my recommendation lightweight udp protocol with express vpn and that'll be the nord Links protocol with nord vpn and finally the wireguard protocol with surfshark that'll be my recommendation and if you're not sure which one to go for i'll give you a brief recommendation and just go for express if you're looking for the most consistent overall like as far as performance and security and anonymity and accessing streaming services and services that are not available to you and overall it's basically the easiest vpn to use while maintaining incredibly high performance as well as security now go for nord if you're looking for more features and the biggest number of countries at 111 as opposed to expressvpn's 105 and surfshark's 100 and if you're interested in a bunch of bonus features that can be very useful in a handful of situations Technically speaking, Nordlinks will offer you the best download and upload speed out of these three VPNs. But when it comes to ping, I found all of them to be great, honestly. And what's cool about Surfshark, which is going to be the best budget VPN out of these three, is that you get this nice little button here, which will give you a little bit of a speed test that shows you the ping for each server. That way, you don't have to waste time testing your ping manually and whatnot. So this is a pretty nice time saver. So that'll be it for this video. Again, if you're interested in any of these VPNs, I'll leave links to pricing, discounts, and full reviews in the description down below. Otherwise, feel free to comment below if you have any questions. I'll be happy to answer all of them. Like and subscribe if you'd like to support the channel and stay up to date with everything VPNs and cybersecurity. Thank you guys very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Have a wonderful day.